Hello, my name is Elito Rodriguez and this is my uh, presentation for Economics for Decision Making uh, titled Supply and Demand. Agenda. In this presentation I will be um, talking about uh, supply, demand and the equilibrium price. Uh, the non-price determinants of supply and demand the short run versus the long run conditions, the managerial challenge of supply and demand, and finally the relationship among supply, demand, and price. Supply, demand, and the equilibrium price. The demand for a good or service is defined as the quantities of a good or service the people are ready to buy at various prices within some given time period. All the factors besides price held constant. Uh, what that means is that changes in price result in changes in the quantity demanded and the changes in the non-price determinants result in changes in demand also. Um, if uh, the prices for, let's say, um, soft drinks go down, then that means the people will have more power to buy and therefore the demand for soft drinks will increase. On the other hand, um, if uh, the prices for uh, soft beverages uh, increases, and also it depends on, on how dramatically the increase is. Uh, if it's a few pennies maybe it won't affect uh, people a lot, but if the prices increase dramatically we will see that there is a uh, you know a decrease in the demand of uh, of soft drinks. Supply, demand in the equilibrium price. Equilibrium price is the price that equates the quantity demanded with the quantity supply. In other words, the price, uh, the price that clears the market of a surplus or a shortage. Equilibrium quantity is the amount that people are willing to buy and sellers are willing to offer at the equilibrium, equilibrium price level. Uh, shortage is uh, defined as a market situation in which the quantity demanded exceeds the quantity supplied at a price below the equilibrium level and surplus is a market situation in which the quantity supplied exceeds the quantity demanded at a price above the equilibrium level. Non-price determinants of supply and demand so both supply and demand um, contain uh, non-price determinants. Uh, for example, uh, taste and preferences. Um, we have seen how uh, the taste and preferences for soft drinks, for example, um, is, is has changed or is changing constantly um, as the uh, changes in ages in the United States now. Uh, millenniums, you know, young people are more concerned about their health and uh, obesity and those things. So uh, people are looking more for uh, non-sugary drinks and, you know, healthy foods and stuff like that. Uh, income, obviously, um, you know, the more money you have, the, you know, more d um, demand for, um, um, for pros and services that you can afford. Um, the prices of related products, if you're going to buy a product and, and it is too expensive and there is a related product uh, you know, that, that you can get, um, then y you may go to the related product. Uh, future expectations is um, among buyers is another uh, non-price determinant and obviously the number of, uh, of buyers in the demand uh, the more people there are in a certain area or region or industry, uh, you know, uh, the more demand there's going to be for uh, products and services. Um, the same token, you know, supply 
um, cost and technology can affect the the uh, the supply of products and services uh, prices of other products offered we've seen for example how uh, the the iPhone used to be the king of the jungle when he uh, when uh, uh, we're talking about uh, consumer s smartphones uh, and and then uh, you know after a number of years Android came along and and uh, technology has come to um, a point where basically all the features that you get in, in, in Apple you can get in Android even better. Uh, it used to be like if you had um, you know an iPhone I would say four years ago you were all that nowadays you get better uh, phones with Android um, you know bigger screens and um, like the Samsung Galaxy for example have made a tremendous cut into the uh, uh, the buying of iPhones and stuff like that. Uh, future expectations also among sellers, uh, the number of sellers obviously and also weather conditions um, particularly for agricultural products. Short run versus the long run conditions uh, with related to uh, supply and demand. Um, so short run uh, basically affect your sellers already in the market uh, respond to um, to a change in the equilibrium price. Uh, we've seen we talked about for example the response in taste and preferences would you know people just you know change um, they prefer all the products. Uh, there is definitely a movement along the you know uh, supply curve. Uh, long run, it's basically related to new sellers that may enter a market or the original sellers may exit. Um, so if the population increase, we, we talked about, for example, how the um, young population is increasing in the United States and the old population. So the millennials are growing like crazy and the baby boomers are uh, exiting or disappearing so uh, what that means is that this will have a long-run effect in the uh, supply and demand and uh, last but not least is existing sellers either increase or decrease uh, fi uh, fixed factors of production so uh, we've seen for example how uh, the economic situation what happened in 2008 uh, people lost their jobs, they lost their properties, then obviously this will have a uh, long-run effect on the um, uh, the power that people have to uh, acquire products and services. Finally, in this presentation, I will talk about the uh, managerial challenge. In other words, the challenges that uh, managers face today uh, in the in the market due to supply and demand and and some of the key points over here is uh, for example the pricing of products and the allocation of a company's scarce resources so one of the biggest uh, responsibilities of managers is to uh, be smart about the way they allocate the uh, company's uh, scarce uh, resource uh, what projects to engage in uh, who to hire and and all that kind of stuff uh, the market environment in which the the company is competing. Uh, some of the competitions are, are very um, very high and, and therefore the higher the competition the more uh, challenging that it is for managers to make these decisions. Um, so basically supply and demand in a highly uh, competitive market it's very different from a market in which there's no competition so um, then we introduce the the relationship between price takers and, and price makers uh, in, in a highly competitive environment company have to basically they, they are price takers so you can't not just put your own price but basically it depends on the market so you have to kind of adjust to uh, um, how the market is doing uh, in company where there's no competition then these companies are price makers they can basically you know mark up their prices and um, so basically what that means that in in uh, markets where there is um, highly competition there's no market power and you know in, in um, there is consuming power in that case now company that are in a 
not very highly compared to market so companies that uh, can afford to you set their own prices then they are said to have market power thank you I hope that this presentation uh, has been informative and um, organized and well presented. Again, this is Celio Rodriguez. Bye-bye.